Hello everybody and welcome back to my Fallout 4 playthrough. Our last time we had gone ahead, uh, was it? we cleared out the Gravega plant. It just got back and we had to go clear some stuff. So yeah. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realm hq other than that back to your regularly scheduled program all right uh yeah we have some stuff we can go to craft which is good uh, let's see. i need Start fucking around with some of this stuff. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, yes, I need a, you know, one of these and then cutting fluid. <laughs> job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. Alright. Let's see. How are we doing right now? We're not doing alright. The defenses aren't exactly all the way there. Seven, so that's the point. Right. I can make thirteen of them now. And now we can make the gun nut too. Sources miscellaneous. Uh, no, not you. Decoration miscellaneous. Oh, it's somewhere. Furniture. I think it's miscellaneous. There we go. Set up. So. Hey, Dodsworth. Yes, sir. You never invited to go to the peak. You haven't forgotten about that, have you? Uh, no, of course not, sir. I, I'm just waiting to find a free day in my schedule. Okay, then, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. We'll be working for you. I 
think this should be far enough. These guys, yes. The fuck are these? If I can get this to work. <laughs> I don't think this is how it's supposed to work. How many? One, two, three, five, six. So six would get up to so thirteen. That's what sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that, that fucking works. Uh, <laughs> Oh. 
Oh god. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> no, don't tell me. I probably shouldn't. Oh, this needs. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that All three of them got it. Okay. Yeah, that seems about reasonable. Hey, there we go. The increase the building. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Actually, we can go level up. Uh, let's see.
stop that, please? It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work right. That's no reason to go beating the living daylights out of it. Excuse well, me, how miss. how do I make it do what I want? Oh, hello again. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Maybe you can talk some sense into the young lady. I could have a chat with her. It's this sensor thing. I want to build a store, you know, somewhere I could sell stuff, but it won't work. A store? I don't think the sensors can build those. Can they? Probably. Maybe. Hmm. You know who would know? That ASAM fella. Maybe you should go find him. Ask him what else these sensor flibbity gibbets can do. I'll go see him immediately. Oh, well, that's great. In the meantime, I'll get the new arrival settled. And hopefully prevent more property damage. Good luck. How could old uh, Paul help you? I had a hammer. <laughs> you just, yeah, you know, you just... <laughs> I definitely don't expect you to build it like that, so. Yeah, defenses did go down, but that'll be fine for now. He did say, or he did have something written down that he was going to Livia Station or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, we're gonna head over to Concord. I think what we're gonna end up finding is he's not in Concord. And he went over to the satellite station. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's satellite station Olivia. Now that we actually get our upgraded weapons, it should help out a tad bit more. Especially since we have a bit of armor as well now. Alright, let's go. Cool. One of the basic ideas, we should take this piece amount of time in terms of settlement. If we go ahead and rush them, then we end up getting just overwhelmed. And that's not going to exactly do us good for the long run in terms of this series. Uh, but that's the fun part about the sudden once you get overwhelmed. You do. Uh. <clears throat> oh, hey there. Didn't expect to be seeing you again. Is something up? It's not the A Sams, is it? That's why I'm here. Ah, uh, so it is the sensors that bring you here. Look, I'll tell you the same thing I told the others. I know it may seem confusing, but trust me, just stick with it. It's Keep not building bad. and provide your people with proper supervision. Eventually, it'll all make sense. No, I wonder. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? What else? Are you saying the sensors aren't enough for you? <laughs> well, that's a first. Most people complain ASAMs are too complicated. No one's ever asked for more. I'm starting to get the feeling you're not exactly like most people, are you? Yeah, probably. All right, Slick. Consider me curious. What's your story? Like, for starters, that pit boy in your wrist. I bet there's a tale behind that. Uh, why are you asking about my pit boy? It's not every day someone trips over a pit boy. Heck, took me years to find mine. So, where'd you get yours? Uh, from Vault 11. I got 11. it in Vault 111. 111? That's the vault just down the road from here, right? How'd you even get in there? That place is sealed up tighter than a Brotherhood bunker. Wait a second. Are you telling me you're not actually from that vault, are you? Cryo facility. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. I woke up at one point. Some people killed my wife and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know what that's... Well, I know something like that ain't easy. 
You might be surprised how common that kind of thing is out here. I mean, not the frozen in a vault park, but... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I don't mean to pick at fresh wounds. But what you said about being frozen... Are you telling me you're pre-war? Before the bombs? Yeah, before the war. Yeah, before the war. Before everything was ruined. Whoa. That's... Well, that's amazing. You really aren't like most people. Then, if you don't mind my asking, why is a vault dweller from the past bothering with settlements and ASAMs? Blood and money, no. I want to help people. That's an admirable goal. I can respect that. And from what I've seen so far, you're the kind who's more than willing to put actions to those kind of words. Well, guess that explains why you're so serious about the settlement stuff. Oh. Raiders! Hurry! Wait, what? Back at the settlement! A whole bunch of them! They've taken hostages, please! You gotta hurry! Damn raiders are like rad roaches. I crush one and five more crawl out. Well, don't you worry, Slick. I got your back. You helped me with my raider problem. Only right I help you with yours. Alright, All right, let's go. Right you are. Come on, get the lid out and move before somebody gets killed. <laughs> Alright. There are oh they're not, they're down that way. That's what he was talking about. Okay, let's head down. I thought that was back at Sanctuary. I wouldn't run by there. <laughs> Paul, you're about to get yourself killed. Oh, shit. You're just coming with me. I didn't realize that you actually do that. I guess he is an unofficial command, unless he is... No, he's an unofficial companion. He's not affecting my carry weight. Good. 
Hey there. Let's go. Let's go kick some raider ass. Yeah, well, you we might want to get out of here. Okay, duel had none of it. That's there it. There we go. Ah, uh, this is my first and only entry. I identified myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand only by as uh, the government affects the minds of people. The devices like electrical towers, they have erected my front lawn. I pledge to take it down. This mind control device by any means necessary. I have begun construction on an incendiary device. You're reading this, I have certainly been killed, chained in the government interrogation camp. News will surely warp the news and burn me as a communist traitor. Do not believe their lives. I let all tr uh, true prisoners know what that I what I do. Do a vowed free will and to get our country. Have you ever heard of a fucking nuclear annihilation? Because you're not fucking in a camp. There was a fucking toaster in the bathtub. That's a fucking joke. Alright, uh, fucking right away. Thank you for clearing that place out, pal. is really good. That and uh, Yaguai are going to be what are on my list of things they constantly hunt. So Yaguai is a bit interesting because um, so if you've ever uh, heard of the Yaguai roast, it is fucking amazing for fucking melee shit. Can work it. You wasted a whole bunch of us at Conk. Uh huh. Well, wait a second. No more talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get killed. Oh, shades I'm in hit bad.
So, fuck, they did kill one of my settlers. Fuck. Damn it. This maybe isn't the most appropriate time or venue for a chit-chat, but have you got a minute? Sure. Of course. What's up? Well, this may seem abrupt, but the Commonwealth. By now, I'm sure you've experienced enough to form an opinion about it, so... Not honestly. Me, what do you think of it all? Yeah. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. <laughs> Ever the optimist, huh? Keep in mind, it's been over 200 years since that war. And folks are still rebuilding and recovering. Not exactly stellar progress. It's a real mess out here. People living in dirt. Barely enough food or clean water. Random attacks from raiders, ferals, or God forbid, since. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be that way. It just might be possible to bring back a measure of the civilization to the wastes. Like what you used to have. You made some good points. Tell me more. You've already seen firsthand what ASAMs can do. And you've shown interest in what more you can get out of them. What if I were to tell you that we've only scratched the surface? And maybe, if you're willing, we could perhaps do more than you ever imagined. I've got plans, but I feel they'd go a whole lot smoother if I had a reliable partner to ride shotgun. So. What I propose is a partnership. You and me, working together to try and rebuild the Commonwealth. What do you say? Sure. All right. I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! You are not going to regret this. I suppose a proper introduction is I might is in order. change it. Name's Jake. I don't know. This Jake is the Evans. problem. What I'm going... It's a pleasure to be working. Because the whole shtick was that I was going to fucking go do... An institute ending. Where you go ahead, you have it so that you reign over the uh, commonwealth. And I was going to have it so that the raiders, they would go ahead and they would kind of... Because the whole shtick is that the institute is the boogeyman. But who gives a shit about the boogeyman if you got somebody knocking on your door with a gun? I would love to do that. But, fucking, this is actually turning out to be a lot like... This is a fucking... Ah... Uh, fuck. Because the whole idea is that I don't want to really do the Minutemen, but this would work perfectly with the Minutemen. Because <sighs> oh, there's two options. The only thing I don't know is that if he's going to be pissed about the Raiders if I join up with the Raiders... to come in reader over boss yeah so So the thought would be, for now, we're not going to fuck with the Minutemen. We could totally just do all the settlements as just a fucking a whole separate thing. And then just fucking join up with the Minutemen the last minute. For the ending. So, yeah. Uh, thanks. You too. Alright. With the formalities out of the way, let me answer a query of yours. Earlier, you showed an interest in getting more out of ASAMs. 
Now, if that's something you really are serious about, then I know where to find the equipment we'd need. However, there is a small problem. Go on. It's a problem we've already had some experience with. Raiders. The place with the ASAM equipment has been claimed by a raider gang. Really dug their heels in. And they're not open to doing trade. But I reckon together we could play into the little Jake. base and grab yeah. what we need. However, we would be <laughs> fucking in Jake out here turning this fucking so, evildoer playthrough into a fucking... stronghold. Get it. Uh, sure, I'll don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Now this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hardware to an old Air Force satellite station called Olivia. So that's where we'll be heading. But before we go there, might want to make a pit stop or two. I understand a nearby farm has had recent dealings with this particular group of raiders. Yeah, I kind of prefer him I'm over fucking Preston. Him about it. <laughs> if I'm being honest. More up -to -date intel. Also, I've got a small cache of gear hidden nearby Olivia. It's probably still there. He's Preston 2.0, for fuck's sake. I'll mark your pit boy with our points of interest, but it's up to you what we do. I'm handing over the reins. I mean, he so far hasn't fucked around, I can tell you that much. He's just been decent. Because uh, the problem with fucking uh, Preston is just that the stupid Radiant quests have fucked up his uh, character entirely. So are you just like, I think he's still technically an unofficial companion. Because I've not lost uh, my weight capacity, right? No. So I'm kind of getting the, the both uh, benefit of both worlds. He's not outright a companion, but he is willing to help. Hello, little boy. Hey there. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want I'm in your trouble. house, pal. It's okay, I'm friendly. <laughs> Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're on to you. I'm friendly, I'm Mr. Evildoer. To... Let me tell you, farm it ain't easy. <laughs> Out in the field all day, every day? And every minute of it. Spent watching your back. I'm almost a grown woman. I just don't know if this is the life I want. You understand. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Uh... Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the Raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? You need to do what you can to protect you and your family. It ain't that simple. They're well armed and there's lots of them. If I drive them off, they'll be back with twice as many men. Last time those Raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old. I beat a record. <laughs> I'm 22. <laughs> and the sooner, the better. Uh, there's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. I love the fact that even though this is like I've legit guy. Losing his daughter like that. Why don't we go give those raiders a little payback in return? Wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you mean build fucking
You gotta be careful of these guys. So you might be wondering, why? Why do you have to be worried about these guys? Okay, maybe not. I'm pretty sure those are the ones, though. They release uh, radiation, but I don't know why the fuck that one just decided not to. Figured <laughs> the better Preston. That is totally the fucking case. Preston, the cooler Preston. <laughs> God, that is so stupid that it actually is the case. here. to the aid, yes.
another day of hard work. that up his cash, see if there's anything useful. I should probably take fucking the local leader perk. Except I can't because I'm not high enough. Alright. Yeah. Well, that's the fun. I think strength? No, strength. Though. So I probably will point in there to get maxed out. Otherwise, it'd be to keep upgrading charisma. We upgrade our charisma, we should probably upgrade our endurance. So that way we can deal with that. for dog meat. Ooh. That's actually, I think, a better one. Yes, because it has literally just... Oh, no, they're the same. It's just a question of, do I want full or do I want ears? You got ears. Oh, that little ears. Got some corn. Got some corn. Does suck when you take all my XP for it, but that'll be fine. Hold on, we're near the cash. Just give me a second. 
Now what I came this stuff a while back when I first checked out the area. Aha! Looks like it's all still here. <clears throat> How do you like the headwear? Pretty cunning, don't you think? Uh, you look alright. You look absolutely fabulous. Well, I know it's a flattering color, but fabulous? <laughs> kind of feel bad with what you're stuck with now. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Some ammo. Oh, red bedding. <laughs> Discover this place. Right. Wait up! I'm gonna hold back. Scout the area for masters. I'll let you deal with the raiders directly outside Olivia. I don't care. You're done taking out the trash. I'll meet you at station's entrance. What are you- oh, you got a modified- that's why. I was like wondering what the fuck, how is he shooting lasers if he's got a fucking revolver? He doesn't just have a revolver. None of that's useful. I already have that shit at home. Now, if it was like T51, then that'd be useful, but I guess I'm not high enough level for it. Fighting something. What are you fighting? Oh shit! They fought fucking Kelly? I'm pretty sure that's the little girl with the fucking... Who are you? They did fight her! Wait, no. Wait, what? No, what the fuck? Hold up a minute. I've got a really top tier piece of cow flesh for sale. Oh, I don't know you, know you actually. Sure, I'll take her. Oh, great, great. 
interested in doing business with you, man. Okay. I thought it was the little girl. There's a little girl who walks around with a massive sentry bot. Yeah, she just basically cleared out the area. I didn't even have to fucking. <laughs> oh, somebody was about to die. Oh, so they had multiple things come in while we were fucking dicking around. Yeah, they, they got fucked. <laughs> uh, that's... Ah! I didn't touch it. No, I did. Yeah, sure. I, there's supposed to be like three ish uh, raiders in here. Okay, fucking you just phase through. Because there's the one up top, then there's supposed to be at least one in here. It looks like. Yeah, I probably died. Excuse me. Good job. You really don't like raiders, do you? I mean, the wildlife did the most. The perimeter, but I took care of them. Shouldn't have to worry about anyone raising the alarm. At least, not right now. Say, before we head in, would you care for a bit of advice? Uh, sure. Sure? What's up? This particular raider group packs a little more artillery than the usual riffraff. And that includes some nasty big miniguns. Just remember, miniguns need a few seconds to warm up before they start firing. So make sure you use that to your advantage. And make sure you get your ass behind some damn cover. You can't get hit by what can't see you. Huh. Thanks. I always appreciate good advice. Come on. Let's head on in. Alright, let me, uh, fucking equip a couple of grenades. And I think what we'll do is we'll do this next time. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't excuse the video. I'll have a great day. Miss the button. Miss the button right there.